In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a buttery smooth ghost rewind effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Let's see today's intro first and then jump into the edit page. Welcome to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you really the easiest way how to build up Ghost Rewind effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Currently we are in edit page. You can see that I have already imported video clip onto my timeline. And let's get started. So first thing that we're going to do is to pinpoint the start where we would like that this effect would start from somewhere here. So just press Ctrl B or you can grab this uh, razor blade and cut it with, with that as well. So we can go it here with that and we can play it a bit further also with blade. So we're gonna cut it somewhere here. And next thing, Let's grab the arrow. So we're going to move this part away. And next thing, just press Alt and copy one. And just press again Alt and copy another one. So now we have three same video clips in video layer one. So next thing is let's select the middle one, right click, go to change clip speed, press reverse speed and change it. So now we're going to see what we have done. So let's play it through. You can see that we have this reverse effect here already done. So nothing to worry about. Looks really great. So let's go and highlight these three cuts and press Alt and just drag it to another layer. Right click. Let's go to new compound clip and we're gonna go with copy one, go back to first cut out, zoom in, put the play hat on, on the beginning of the cut, use your arrows on the keyboard and just go to the right, three, three frames, one, two, three, and let's move this clip to, to the right hand side. We can play through just, just to see. We can't see anything until we open Expector and go to Composite and just change this to Opacity to 70 and we can see that this is the thing that we are looking for. So we can also add another copy so just press Alt and pull it to the next level. So go to the beginning, go three frames to, to the right, just match with a clip with the playhead. And now we have so three different. Yeah, just to soften a little bit, just add a frame. So six frames across uh, the solve. So yeah, looks quite nice. So if we play from the beginning, it looks okay. So next thing is we can highlight the clip number three. So and go to effects library and find edge detect. So we can click here and we can just put it edge detect. We have here just grab it and put it directly to this uh, second video clip copy and let's go to effects so let's go to grayscale so we're gonna leave the brightness we're gonna edge mask overlay so like this we're gonna smoothen a little bit and let's go back to video open transform so now we're gonna change the size uh, and the, the position for this outline 
So we're going to change the size a bit. Don't get too crazy. So let's put it back here. And let's play it through. So we can go back to effects and increased strength the noise. So we're gonna just increase a little bit threshold or drop this threshold to zero. And let's see it again. Alex quite nice. And this is reverse ghost effect. So we can see it again. It looks nice. So we can use this in different uh, video clips or music video clips, or uh, we can use this as well for some sports events. Let's go and see another clip. We're gonna start it somewhere here. Just press Ctrl B. You can go a few frames ahead. Just press Ctrl B again. Move the clip on the side and just drag another copy with Alt and mouse. So we're gonna put it back. Now we're gonna click on the middle one, right click, go to change clip speed, go to reverse speed and change it. Now we can see the effect. Looks nice. So next thing is we're gonna just copy this three, just link clips, go to first cutout, uh, use arrows on your keyboard, three frames to the right, just move this clip also to the right, go to composite and just change it to 70 so we can see the effect already there so one more thing that we can do we we're gonna go with light rays and we're gonna put light rays in so we gonna use also frames to just soften for situation You can see that it looks really, really nice. So next thing that we can do also is let's put it like a bit faster, 200, okay. Let's go with this one as well. You're gonna just put it back. And that's it. So we have both clips here. We highlight all of them, right click, go to new compound clip. You can go with uh, dance. And we're gonna do the same with this one. New compound clip. This one as well. So this is Ghost Rewind effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. If you have any questions regarding this uh, effect, please let me know down in comments. And that's it for today. See you all next time. If you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to watch my other tutorials as well. Till next time, take care and have a good one.